Uh, do, do you want to do it quickly before we get the game going? Or... Oh, quick smelly intro. Right, so, hello everyone, welcome to the very first week of Season 3 of the Medway League series. I'm Tom, once Rez, and as always, I'm joined by Craig. Hi! There he is. <laughs> there he uh, is. Today, we've got two two games on the stream, as usual, there's also a second stream. So that'll be like four videos on YouTube afterwards. Well, that'd be great. But, yeah, so the first game we've got is Avataria versus Hollywood Potato Chip, or HPC, which is what I'm going to say now. Yeah. Uh, and after that, we'll actually got another Avataria game where they play My Mum Dropped Me. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, welcome to the official Avataria stream, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Avataria hype. <laughs> and we're going to get on the way now. Soon. I have just said ready, so we should be getting into Champion Select momentarily. 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 Never say stuff like that because yep. we know it won't happen. Just have to cut this bit out so it oh, looks yeah. like it's We're getting into the lobby right now. No! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't even edit that. Anyone on YouTube who's feeling smug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got a tournament staff game, which for you at home means it's just like the LCS. So there are three bands, three picks, Let's two bands, them. two picks. Yep, we're keeping it as close to the LCS as possible, apart from, you know, yeah, I mean, level up. I smell fear. Well, I mean, they copied us because we were doing best of one the whole time, and they moved to best of two. You're right. And they've come, they've come crawling back. <laughs> they saw how well it worked yeah. in the Medway League series. Oh, and went, yeah, back to, back to best of one. Yeah, yeah, these guys know what's up. So, right, some nice bands coming in. We've got uh, Avataria, their band Warwick, Shivana, and Oriana. It's not I mean, Oriana, very versatile mid lane pick. Yeah. Warwick is pretty strong right now. Yeah, he is. Uh, these these gank heavy junglers are working pretty well. At the and I believe Virgin does like him. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I played with him. Uh, and Shivana, I mean, it's, it wouldn't be the Medway League series if Shivana wasn't banned. <laughs> <laughs> and in with the first pick of the season, it's Jinx, who re this patch just had a, a little bit of like a mini work so to speak yeah. involving her passive and her Q um, her passive no longer gives the attack speed scaling per level but it's a higher base rate and um, yeah. when she gets excited she can actually break the attack speed cap which means she can attack what? she can attack more than two and a half times a second that's pretty cool that although pretty remember cool, to get though. excited you do have to get a kill or a yeah. turret so it's, so it's not like it's gonna you be get interesting. it. It's going to be a nice little change. Also, her Q, when she swaps to the rocket, that first basic attack that fires out as a rocket it is insanely quick. So yeah. you kind of go machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, and, and then do rocket. a really quick rocket, and that's kind of like a training combo. Yeah. So we have some more bands. We didn't even touch on uh, Hollywood Potato Chips' first bands. They banned Zoe. Yep. Yeah. Pretty broke. Don't even need to say it out. You, everyone damage. watching this knows why they banned Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do some new intelligence. Skarna, a really good jungler at the minute. Um, again, just gank heavy, lots of CC, and works well with the new. Three new jungler season. bands now. Yeah. Um, potentially four. Potentially four. I wouldn't count Jack three, they don't. No. Um, right, let's, let's actually talk some about some of the picks now. We have Rakanzaya yeah. bot lane coming in for HFC. The joke uh, HPC, on you. sorry. HFC. Yep, we know Microcos has been playing quite a lot of Zaya recently. He's all, yeah, he's also been playing some Caitlyn, so I'm surprised they didn't pick that up, to be honest. But Zaya is definitely stronger than Caitlyn in the meta right now. In the meta, but Caitlyn's always been a good pick against yeah. Jinx in lane. Yeah, uh, yeah just outranging. Because she's yeah, one of the only people that Jinx can't bully. Yeah, and I mean, obviously taking Rakan as well. It, it makes sense. They came into the game as a duo. So much synergy. Just really, they just work well together. It's really engaged heavy, but you can also he attack, but he also protect. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, Ilawi's just an annoyance, really. Just in top lane, just constantly bullying. I mean, not on, probably will be able to deal with it. Yeah, um, on that, I, I think Orn might be in the jungle. Um, it's one of Xbox's Fuse most preferred champions, but I don't think it even works in the jungle, so I don't know why I'm saying this. I mean, physically it'd probably work, but I wouldn't say it'd be a 
top tier pick. Um, but he was the 63rd best player on all for a while that after launch. True. Which I've got because I'm reading my notes quickly. <laughs> Bangs. Um, uh, and looks. Looks. Yeah. Just looks things, really. Just... Yeah, Medrics, he's played. He, he, he was in the MLS last year. Yeah. Uh, that's a quick thing to note is a lot of uh, Avataria, there's quite a few uh, MLS alumni, if you will. Yeah. Um, top lane, 13, Medrix, I think Scythe as well. Yeah. I want to say Scythe. All, all played last year. Yeah. So, yeah, they've had got, got the experience, whereas Hollywood Potato Chip there. Everyone here is new to the MLS. Yep, that is true. All right, it's Jungle Orn, by the way. Oh, yeah. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> um, Good call by reading that bit. Well, what I was going to pick up on is it's strange that the, because one of the other things we I know about Xboxer is he's actually one of the freshest players, possibly the freshest in the entire MLS. Mm. Um, this is actually his first season playing. Um... I think he did reach gold. So that's pretty impressive for someone who's not played for that long. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, really impressive, actually. But what I would say is that maybe he won't have as deep a champion pool as people who've played the game for much longer. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Just kind of like a one-trick, two-trick pony. But, uh, I mean, give him time. If he's got to gold on his first season... He's obviously got some sort of natural knack for the game. <laughs> um, and day teams, we got brand mid lane. Yeah. So you may think, wow, Craig and Tom, you're you're you guys are lagging behind on the talking about these picks and bands. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> there we go. Three minutes. Yep. Yep. Three three minutes got, anyway. So got three minutes. Doesn't really matter. Although mine's actually not saying. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we there go. We, yeah, yeah, we lagged. Yeah, but, we go. There is three minutes. Yeah, so now we can actually talk on it. Nasus into Alawi. I'm not sure about that. I mean, Nasus is a pain. Yeah, yeah I mean, as we know, Nasus does, you know, scale his absolute head off. But he's <laughs> bullied this early yeah, game from Alawi. No, you know, normally to counter pick a Nasus, you pick someone who can bully him early, and they picked it into the Alawi. Yeah. But, yeah, 13, he likes playing carry style champions. He does. Um, Guess the Jack's ban was probably targeted at him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll see how he scales. I ask you this every game, Tom. Every game we've casted, ish. Which team do you prefer? <sighs> uh, I th I get on a straight up discount, not even thinking about who's playing who. Just the team, the characters picked in a composition yeah, sense. Yeah. I'm gonna say Hollywood Potato Chip. Yeah. Because I'm feeling like I've got they've just got an an all out team comp, team fighting comp. Yeah. I guess the Alawi's a bit of an anomaly, but she's gonna Ilawi, keep down Nazis early game. Alawi can team fight really well with the ultimate. It's just if you get a team fight that happens in the jungle, Alawi just ruins teams. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have the right situation or setup. Yeah. That's true. For her. Um, I feel like Avataria's team is definitely more of a, a pick em. Just, Yeah, just exactly. Try that, so. Just try and get those picks and try and get some objectives. Yeah, we often get this in MLS where we'll have one team that's got a straight up team fighting composition. Yeah. And then the second team uh, have just a really strong pick composition. Mm -hmm. But it just comes down to who plays their their uh, their team comp. Better. Yeah, I, expect, I, expect, I mean, even I think Hollow Potato Chip they're going to want to be grouping as a four early game. Yeah, with Alawi still in the top lane, keeping Nazus out. Mm -hmm. Because even with just the four, they've got you know a damn good, really good initiate on. with Sejuani and Rakan and, Rak and Rakan. Uh, Zaya, she's an AD carry who can do quite a fair bit of AOE damage. Just a, just a touch. <laughs> yeah, same Especially with, with the ultimate. Same with Brand. Uh, and exactly, yeah, Brand is just ridiculous. So they're going to want to force... Force these fights you know, and get a TP in from Elawi just to go, 
I'm going to spawn lots of tentacles now <laughs> and uh, ruin face. But yeah, whereas uh, Avataria, they're just going to they yeah, it's just picks. They, I can't I can't elaborate on it. They they, they want to catch people out. They want to take one so that they if they do have to fight, they're always on an advantage because you know someone's already dead from HPC. Yeah. Right, we are loading in. We shall hopefully get in. If my what do you think about even just a straight up two v two bot lane compositions? Zarya Khan's hard to beat because you can play it multiple ways. Yeah, but then I mean, again, normally Jinx you would say Lulu, Lulu is Jinx is pretty strong. Monstrous. Uh, right now, looking at now, we can actually see the keystones. I don't like Jinx with. And I've completely forgotten the name of that keystone. Because mm, I haven't seen uh, it for a while because Fleet Footwork has just been ruling the bot lane. Guardian. Oh, God. What? Is it press the attack? I think that's the attack speed I... one. I can't remember what the yellow ones are. <laughs> Rakan running Guardian. Guardian got nerfed this patch. And I haven't changed the scene over. There we go. How strong. Uh, it wasn't. It's weird that it's got nerfed. I don't remember it being particularly oppressive. Apparently, it must have been... It was picked a lot, but it never felt... I guess it's probably one of those where they've nerfed it just to encourage diversity. Yeah. Not because it's so strong, but because they, you know, they want people to pick other things. Yeah, that's probably the, that's probably the case. And cheers, somehow I've, I've changed it now. It should be good. Hey. And I need to do this quickly because I forgot the keybinds. There we uh, go. OU. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> That's how I remember it. <laughs> right. Uh, God, I look, there we go. We see people. What's your time at, Tom? I'm at three, four, five, six. Hang up. Are you still moving? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, we're thirty. Good. We're yep. We're good. Boom. We good. It felt like it might have been out, but it wasn't. Yeah. And I just realised I've got one of my fingers in the wrong place. Uh, I'm <laughs> so traditionally, MLS, we don't do level ones here. No, we don't. We barely do level six. So, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. However, we know Microcode. He is aggressive. Is aggressive. It depends whether or not he can convince his team. Hayden's quite aggressive. So I Saying Hayden, Virgin's quite aggressive, yeah. as well. So I don't, I, I, I don't necessarily think level one, but I think we may, we may get some level one action. Not level one, but the early game action. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a Rakan at level six against a Jinx. If they get level six before Lulu can get that ultimate orb, that's a dead lane. Yeah, you know, Jinx doesn't have an escape. Nope. So, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh! The Garius rare is gone for the relic shield. That got nerfed, it's patch buddy. Did it? Yep. What was the? Oh, it's the you get less heal. Yep, fifty percent less heal if your character, less. if your champion is ranged. So it's not. It still works. Were people buying it for the heal, or were they buying, buying it for, it for the, the gold? Uh, kind of gold, it's like kind of. It was mostly for the heal because people were taking over heal and flea footwork. Ah, oh, yes. And just yeah, sustaining yeah. the hell out of the lane, basically. But uh, it still works to an extent. It's just not going to be as good. It's also an offhand yeah. f uh, nerf to fresh. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks to be fresh, yeah. doesn't it? He already had to contest with the fact that you don't get the execute damage. Yeah, now he's just getting even less of a heal from it, so it's not good. Um got Microcos taking the uh, the Dolrin shield for the start. He wants to fight. If he's taking that <laughs> he wants to go for the Well it's especially good against Jinx because she even early game she has quite a high attack speed. Yeah. Quite a lot so of it really helps. Especially with the new the changes to Jinx that we touched on earlier. Gonna be able to go like minigun, 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 swap to rocket and get a quick poke off. Yeah. And uh, that, that door is just going to cut down on that. 
Yeah, oh, early gank onto Medrix. He's gonna have to both flash immediately. He's still got barrier pops out now. He's stunned, but he is under the turret, so I think he lives. Virgin getting away on a sliver of health as well, but that is both summoners down for Medrix very early on. Yep, that's gonna be a repeat gank in the next couple of minutes, that's for sure. Uh, and when we said Virgin was aggressive. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Shows, that shows it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Medrix, he's gonna have to play very safe in that lane now. Yep, without a flash or a barrier, he's toast. If uh, Virgin decides to come back. 13's Nazus isn't getting too bullied just yet, but he is under his turret. Orn was heading topwards. Uh, was spotted by a ward in that river bush, though. That's another thing I haven't touched upon. By my yes. side stone. Yeah, just in case anyone watching does not. You know, hasn't read the patch notes yet. The, the side stone's gone. It's proper goners. It's gone. I'll just uh... it's a massive buff to aggressive junglers. Yeah, really. Oh, yep. Yeah, Orn has got this gank off in the top lane, even with that ward having to pop Flash Dark Phoenix. He will live, but you know, get some decent return damage on the 13. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hate allowing. Yeah. Uh, Virgin, he's heading up to the top lane now that there's a wounded Nazus, but I don't think he can make uh, anything happen. Probably not from He's gonna. Not he's gonna sit. I don't. Nazus won't push. No. Well, saying that, he did just drop his E. He did. But I think even if the the lane pushes, Nazus won't. No. <laughs> yeah. Not on that health. No, not on that health. No, that's for sure. Uh, looks like Orn's going to be heading back up to the top lane very soon. Lulu's sitting on about half health right now. Getting powered out by Macrocos and Silver Sparks pretty well. He's still got, got uh, pressure, though, and he's still got uh, that. Klepto of Nazus. Oh, Orn's revisited this top lane. He's not really got any help from the Nazus. Due to the health, but he's got so much damage of his own. Look at that! First Blood actually picked up by 13 Nazus as well. Gifted that over. I'm sure there was something about Orn in the patch notes, but I can't remember what it was. I'll have to yeah. check that out in a bit. Um, yeah, first blood. Like, at five minutes in the MLS. I wasn't MLS. expecting that. What? But, <laughs> no. Um, you know, Ilawi, she was being very aggressive. Yeah, that's true. But, Sejuani, um, Virgin Sejuani had actually left. So he wasn't as safe as maybe he thought he was. Yeah, that's true. A uh, lot we've got going on now. A lot of poke in this bot lane. Very even CS. Yeah, very uh, even. Yeah, very even CS. Uh, ooh, Michael Cross game. Tell you what, the thing is with the Targons is it, it does mean that Lulu on support is going to get a nice tasty bit of gold. Yeah, I mean, if we have a look at the gold now. Oh, she's... look how aggressive Silver Sparks is being here. Lulu's sitting 100 above uh, Silver Sparks yeah. on Rakan. So it's, it's working. Then again, Lulu is quite e uh, quite a good champion for Crocky in the Spell Thief search. But, but yeah, even saying that, a Spell Thief versus a coin, you should get ahead anyway. Uh, it's got the potential for more gold generation. Yeah. The ancient coin is just guaranteed gold yeah, generation. That's true. Well, we say guaranteed, you still have to pick up the coins now. True, but it's, it's easy. Often safer. Yeah, especially on a Rakan, you can just bounce around everywhere anyway. Um, yeah. The Rakan's E range when laying with Zaya is monstrous. Such Did a big range. And Nazus has uh, got a stopwatch. Oh, everyone will take a stopwatch. Yeah. And he's building. <laughs> it's a stopwatch. Yeah, there's quite a lot of stopwatches in the game. Yeah, it's a stopwatch. He's building. Um... It's kind of weird, though, because uh, a stopwatch against Ilawi won't really help. Mm, no, it's just more just to uh, kind of make a gank a bit. Train of thought yeah. there. Wow. Yeah. Because you know, the main use of it if it is to like avoid uh, burst damage yeah. or some CC, mm. which you know, I guess you could dodge for pulling you in with it. But it just walk up to you, so it doesn't really, yeah. <laughs> really help. Yeah. Oh, on oh, oh, in the mid lane. Oh. Leeds thinks he's had to pop his stopwatch, but he did not have enough help. Virgin tried to help, but he, at the cost of his own life. Really low health bars to be hanging around that mid lane. That was a poor stopwatch. He actually dodged the Orn ultimate and then used the stopwatch as Orn just walked up to him and breathed a bit of fire on him. That's what Orn's change was. He's no longer unstoppable during his W. Ah. 
that's it. Fair enough, because that was pretty stupid. Yeah, it was. It was on such like a low cooldown and, and making it unstoppable. Just yeah, it made him like it was so annoying that once he gets tankier in the late game, it, it kind of made him impossible to kill. Yeah, because one of the only tanks who has a ridiculous escape, and you know tanks normally don't have escapes because they're, they're tanks. Yeah. Their escape is that you can't kill them because they've got loads of health. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, some nasty poke coming in onto Jinx now, Ligarius. That Relic Shield's... Going to have to be careful. Relic Shield's working a little bit, but as we said earlier... I said Ligarius, that was well wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say rare now. Yeah, the Relic Shield, it's getting him up a little bit. He'd be on a lot lower if he didn't have it. Yeah. Ooh, all this damage we've got level six from everyone in this bot lane so we're really fighting that Lulu Wulum has topped Jinx up nicely though. That's both summoners and a Lulu. Yeah, oh back. look at this four man gank in the bot lane, the behind the tree. They have been spotted, but they do not care. Look how little they care. They're all coming in its conversion, just waiting for the minion wave. And it's kind of pulled off to the side, it's a little annoying, but they're just killing it now and they're gonna get to the turret. Are we going to go in? We've got ultimate on Sejuani, we've got ultimate on Bran, we've got ultimate on Ricard. Going to head in this dive and I don't think this will backfire. They're going to pick up both kills, move away. That's a very clean four-man gank. Lux is heading there now, but she's all alone. It has to flash away to a turret, but I don't think it's safe under there for her. There's no ultimate, but she's not got any stuns left and she's going to drop. Yeah, I mean, during that setup, I did notice the Lux was coming down and I was just thinking, no, that, that's a dead lane. You, I you thought she was going to turn around, yeah. You can't Or maybe try and get a pick on... Yeah, just you like... You know, when they leave. Yeah, just hang about uh, at, like, max ultimate range and just try and grab somebody. But you should just be pushing that mid lane and getting some damage down. And this is... This is going to be first turret gold. Gonna, yeah, that's going to pop the gold lead nicely into Hollywood Potato Chips' hands. Yeah, that's a powerful gold lead. Uh, Wherever they keep their gold, I don't know. Minutes. <laughs> Brand, he wears trousers, so he's got pockets. I think they've all got pockets. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Orn doesn't have pockets. Maybe, uh, oh, what's, what's Sergio Orni's uh, mount called? I don't know, it's a boar. Oh, oh, look at this fire in the top lane. Nazis has to pop his ult up. It's very late, so he doesn't really get any of the damage. He just has to use it to stay alive. Yep, just gonna so use So much damage coming out from that LOI. Yeah, yeah. just gonna use it just to heal up a little bit. Because it gives him health, and then he can use yep. his passive lifesteal to uh, just tickle a little bit. Just, just yeah. trickle. And get a health a little bit. Ooh, just I mean, I guess it's good that I, I, I. People have called Nazas a bit of a card to allow it because he can get stacks off the tentacles, but I don't think that makes it a counter. No. It's. I mean, let's uh, have a little look how many stacks he's on. I mean, that's 183. Yeah, it's bugged in spectator mode. You don't see the first yeah. two digits. Uh, yeah, so it's 180 odd. I don't know. Like my curse has gone back to the default windows. <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> so it's not much of a gold lead. Um, I mean, this could go anyway, but we've got six kills in less than 12 minutes. That's impressive for the Medway yeah, League I mean, series. I think it was actually, yeah. Less than 10 minutes when the kills actually happen, so. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got Hollywood Potato Chip there bringing some real aggression here as well. And Xbox, if you, the, the rookie jungler, you know, he's no flies on him either. Oh, we've got Gank into the mid lane, Flash and Barrier popped. Sorry, Flash wasn't available, Barrier popped, but Medrix is dead anyway. Yeah, that's. The brand just does so much damage, but even just with that Rod of Ages. I didn't realise that Lux popped the Flash in that bot lane. Yeah, she flashed the turret, didn't she? Yeah. Don't, I didn't realise I forgot. <laughs> so you, she was you dead either way. That. <laughs> yeah. So look at oh, the items in the bot lane. That's a fully grown essence reaver <laughs> against a BF no. sword. Uh, no boots press. though. There's the micro I know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah <there we> go. <laughs> Hollywood potato chip. Who needs to They're move? gonna look to get this dragon. Who needs to move on an AD carry? <laughs> <laughs> This is going to uh, be interesting. Uh, yeah, he doesn't need to chase people down because Rakan can speed him up with the uh, thing, can't he? What thing? Oh no, that only speeds himself up. His ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be interesting because we're going to get a side stone effect on the AD carry. Uh, Legarius, uh, Legarius rare. 
because he's upgraded to target spray so as soon as he hits the 500 gold uh, through the item mark he's going to get the sight stone passive that's nice how what is he what men's sex is he on now oh brand is caught in the jungle but they can't really collapse him because there's so many of hollywood potato chip just kicking around yeah. in that bot side jungle got a lot of backup here We've got both tps up but there's there's no real need to come down because i mean dragon just been taken a minute ago so, also, uh, something to note is that uh, spectate mode doesn't actually show us uh, how much gold he has on that. Uh, not targons. <laughs> oh, does it not? No, I, you, you don't see oh, it. That's a shame. I mean, I did. Because it comes up on the item, and, and uh, well, it was. Uh, it kind of covered half the screen. Oh no, no, sorry. Yeah, he's got. He's completed it. Oh yeah, he's got I'm, a little free I'm just an idiot. Oh, yeah. Got the free yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's a uh, that's, an, that's an additional side stone. So I'm looking. Out, uh, and that's this should hopefully uh, going to give a good amount of vision. Yeah, it should be some good vision. Hopefully they can capitalise off of it if they can. So I mean, he's going to hang on to that till till late game. We'll see if having it take up a slot is. is Nasus is getting minion blocked here. That's kind of grim. He's moving back in now, but look at that damage from Milau. It is. Absolutely disgusting. All the pop from Nazis. But again, just to keep him alive, he can't really turn around. But he drops a Q, they're not that hefty yet. With only not quite 300 yet. Just little Qs at the just moment. Little Qs, little baby. But he's, he's stacking up alright for, for the lane. So. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing pretty good to say that he's yeah. going to allow it, especially. I haven't got that kill. Well. Yeah, the early, the early game gank from Orn was just a, such a blessing for him, really. Yeah. Owen has got his ultimate, so he's going to be looking to use that somewhere. Just passing that blue buff over to Medrix. Looks oh, definitely needs that. He's going to be sat at probably. I can't see. I can't. I don't know if he took. I don't know. Can I see the cooldown reduction in here? I don't think I can. Nope. Wow. Nope. Uh, Riot, please give us more control over what we can and can't see. That would be lovely. Riot, plus. That would be lovely. I also mean if you got rid of the three minutes, that'd be nice. Would be good. Nice. You know, I understand the fights there for like ranked games and stuff yeah. where they're solo queue, but if we know all ten players in the game, why can't we spectate from mm. zero? That'd be lovely. Uh, it looks like you know sieging up this mid turret, like we said uh, before the game. Four man group with Ilawi still in the top because <laughs> yep. these are the fights they want to force. Yeah. These especially, I mean, oh, can they? Oh, they use a sweeper. Yeah. Use that sweeper. Get it done. Get her done. <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> That's why everyone tunes into uh, this stream. Outdated memes. Oh, yeah. I mean, where else are you going to get them? Uh, Rift Herald for Hollow Avataria. They, they know. And they're gonna, yeah, all ultimate coming in here. Splits them up. Microcos, he's just on the back, chipping away at the front line. But Medrix, he's caught up in that. Everyone, <laughs> oh no, the ultimate did not connect. Xbox views on, he is down. Nazus not gonna fall as well. That fight went so wrong for Avataria. The Luxor hitting no one did not help. They might catch Brandoff on his own here while the rest do the Rift Herald when he has Flash available. Yes, he's going to flash away and he's going to walk out alive. Whilst uh, the rest of the team are going to chip away at this hotel. Medrix is going to try and steal it, but you Yeah. yeah it's close. It's not... but you can't it's steal it because you have to pick it. Anyway, so Medrix, you have XIP is gone, Medrix is gone. That. I mean, they nearly killed Leeds Things brand. Uh... <laughs> I mean, this is a team fight comp versus a pick comp. You, you can't pick a team like that. Yeah. You have yeah. to pick a single person was, or two people. I mean, they did good to, to collapse on Brad. They did, yeah. But, he, he, you know, unfortunately he had Flash, but, you know, no worries. Uh, they should have just... Walked away with the turn between the legs for a little bit. And... Yeah, I mean, they can't really, they couldn't really have pushed because it would have just got collapsed. Yep. Should have just, yeah, gone back to bot lane, try and push that because that's far away. 
the, but now we're looking at a free eight kill difference, three thousand gold difference. In yeah, that Rift Herald. Not an object you see contested that much, especially in the Medway League series. No, it's not been but, much of a you know, priority. That's been quite, you know, that's blown this game open, really. Yeah. Who actually took it? Silver Sparks. That should pick it up. Huh. That's a bit strange. I'm, uh, I'm surprised they've not swapped top and bottom uh, with that turret down. I guess Dragon's uh, up in a little while now. Yeah, so, but maybe seconds. After, yeah, well, after this Dragon, I'd like to see them swap top and bottom. Yeah, usually it's it's quite a good tactic to do that. Just to take the first turret, uh, take the take the bottom turret early. And then just swap your lanes around and then take that top Especially turret. Especially against And that. then everyone collapse on the middle and crack the middle turret open. And then you just completely open the map. Yeah, once you've got those out, it's down. Yeah. You get a lot more access. Yeah. And we have a bit of a fight probably going to happen here. Yeah, we'll be sure the top lane for the fight, you know. Getting a bit leery around this dragon. Hollywood Potato Chip, they've got it down to 2,000. It looks like they're going to be able to finish it off. Exife is caught out and has to flash away. On dropping. Oh. But they've already got the dragon and your whole team's not there, so he's going to wisely back out of yeah, that one. And I'm just going to push a mid lane. And I'm but that's two mountain drakes, hollow potato chip. That is so dangerous. They're going to be absolutely metal objective. Here's the Rift Herald as well. This mid turret, don't know how long they can defend this boy. Got decent wave clear with the looks, but yeah, uh, there's the Rift Herald. It's headbutted it, and I, there's not enough health left on this turret. Rift Herald's still got half health. Collapsing in onto Xbox views on. He's got to back away, but he's caught. Mux is caught as well. She's popped by Lead Sting. And that is, you know, another out of Holy Potato Chip. Nasus, he's come, you know, round the back. Not really sure what he can accomplish. He's actually been run out of the fight now. They're not, not going to chase him, but, you know, they've, they've kept him out of it. Uh, this, yeah, Holy Potato Chip, they might even get this second turret here in this middle lane. Yep, that's a bit inner. Now as he's caught out, he drops instantly. There's so much damage from Hollywood Potato Chip. Xbox View has to jump out of there as well. Sorry, I uh, don't even know what that was. like a bit of a hiccup. <laughs> yeah, that was a long bit of talking. You have a little rest there, mate. Uh, yeah, that was just a simple mid push. They managed to take two turrets with the Rift Herald. And now, by the book. And now they're going to back off. And they're looking at this Baron, to be honest. They've still got the power. Except Microcos has decided to go down bot lane because he's farm greedy. Yeah, he's seen that the wave's a bit near his turret. Ooh. But <laughs> there's, there's uh, Rand doesn't have a lot of mana as well. Yeah, that's fair. So. Enough. They should definitely yeah. drop some wards though. There's two warding but, uh, trinkets. I think, so. I think top, top turret's worth taking because they can then push um, push the top lane in. And that, you know, that really helps Baron that's if true. he's got all the outers down. Yeah, that's true. Because you know the enemy team they've lost control. They do need to be careful there though, because Microcoast is still down in that bot lane. He's just recalling. Yeah. Thanks to the turret was already low enough. Least think he's caught. Got all the mana, but looks beautiful. Sniper Metrics taking him down now. Hollow Potato Chip there outnumbered. Elawi pops a stopwatch, but she's still caught. Rakan, he's going low as well. Elawi's gone. Um, uh, bloody Virgin. Yeah, he's he's going to drop soon as well. I cues away. I think he's safe, but. Ooh, eats the Jinx W and on, yep. Trying to secure that, but Lux takes it anyway. That's the problem when your AD carries down in bot lane and not with the team when you're running a team fight comp. I mean, they got the turret, but they got collapsed on so quickly afterwards. Yeah, but I mean, on used his ultimate towards the end just to secure the kill. <laughs> but they've got that much CC, they've got, they've got uh, Wither That's thing, it's not like it's not like he needed to use it earlier. Like, oh no, no definitely <laughs> he not. He was I so mean, in control of yeah, that fight. You've got you've got Chompers from Jinx, you've got CC from Lux, you've got uh, CC from Lulu, you've got yeah. Wither from Nasus. So they can lock a single person down. Yeah. And and that's what and, they and especially, they didn't kill Especially when there's only a single person you need to lock down. You know, Zaya of Microcos. Off in the bot lane, yep. Brand. That's the main source of damage. Kill he was first. annihilated immediately, yep. and it was cleanup duty on the rest. That's all it is. Kill one person. It's a pick comp. You kill one person. You kill another person. You kill another person. I mean, that's it, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. <laughs> that's... yeah. I mean, you kill one person, and then you kill the other people, and and then you, you, then, you win the game. Win. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, you don't win the game. You don't. You, don't you get. Quite you win. definitely claw back some momentum. You know, there's not. Such a great. There's only 2k gold difference. 22 minutes. Not horrific. No. The, where the where we really see the issue is the objective difference. Only taken one turret. Yeah. Gonna... Avataria. You know they got no dragons. 
Yeah, they're going to definitely have to start pushing some of these lanes out. Get a bit risky. Start using those wards. That your AD yeah, got. I mean, you got <laughs> two sidesters. Lulu, hers is full. Yep. Just, uh, you know. Lou, to, be fair, to, be, to be fair to Lulu, bot side is little like a Christmas tree, so it's not like it is. she needs to put any down right now. Let's have a quick look at the old uh, control ward situation. There are three for Hollywood Potato Chip, according to the place. That's on the nice. Map. Well, like two, two are nice, one's just in Dragon, but that'll be yeah, nice in a bit. That'll be nice in 1 minute 43 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ilawi's caught out on the side. I don't know if you have enough damage to... But, you know, she's out of the fight, if not dead. All dropping his ultimate, trying to secure that one. Doesn't do it, but... Oh, my goodness, he's caught out. He's absolutely annihilated. Lux picks that one up. And they're going to try and collapse. I don't think... I think there's a little bit too much of a head start from Hollywood Potato Chip. They might be able to grab one or two from the back. But, nah, they're out. But, but, you know, they got micro so they should be able to push onto this mid turret. Wither, Q, Q, dead. That's basically what Both summoners popped as well. Yeah, both summoners and still dead. That's not a good trade. I mean, and that's going to also be bounty gold, which has yeah. brought this gold difference to sub 1k. And it's going to probably swing into Atari... Uh, 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 uh. Avataria. Yeah. Thank you. Into I always favorite. want to say Aviator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so it's probably going to swing that, and they need to be careful. I mean, Makakos is running back up mid lane now. He's going to be rejoining his team momentarily with the dragon about to spawn in 30 seconds. So Avataria, according to backing off, they're going to go by. They're probably going to lose his dragon. Yeah. But, you know, they've already lost two. What's a third? What's a third? What's a third? <laughs> oh, my chest. It's in infernal, though, isn't it? Uh, no, that always shows infernal. Oh, does it? Yeah, that always shows red. We can't tell until it's here. Thanks, <laughs> Riot! <laughs> LCS can tell, can't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they also kind of make the game. Wait, the people in the game can tell? People, yeah, people in the game. They haven't done anything to spectate life for a long time. Hey, yeah, I forgot that. Yeah. Hey, look, it's an ocean drake. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the infernal ocean. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be the go ocean. To potato chip. I mean, it's, it's not particularly the dragon they wanted. But, I don't know. Yeah, they'll grab it. Because they can stay out for longer now, pushing these lanes. Yeah, it's good for. Uh, mm, it's good for yeah. sieging. I mean, they say yeah. Infernal's the best solo queue dragon, but. All... It's not good against Hicks. <laughs> yeah. All the dragons are good when you're actually playing with a team yeah. that communicate. I mean, two mountain drakes, that's 16. I believe it's 16% additional damage to structures and objectives. Yeah, it's 8%. Per, per one and two. Yeah. Or is it more? It might be more. Makes more. I think it's 8% is infernal. It's uh, 20% for 10% of the time. Really? Yeah. Oh no! Now that he's got out, Pop killed him just to stay alive. He's stunned. My pile, cheeky bit of life still on the back is going to keep him safe though. I did like that cheeky, cheeky little, cheeky little cute. cute. Just, uh, that mean, was good. But, you know, Hollywood Potato Chip, they kind of got the momentum here now, but they can't, they can't, there's nothing they can take in this mid lane. They can't push all the way to the inner because others will get back. Mm. So, I mean, they're in a bit of an impasse. I guess they're going to want to just take, try and force a fight around Baron. That's all they can really. Well, not all they can really. That's that's the most obvious route they can yeah, take. Yeah, definitely. Because if they just try and push a lane, you know, as you get onto these inners, pit comp, you know, they can catch you out. Yeah, it gets risky. It definitely gets risky. I mean, both teams are converging onto this barren pit, and you've got both solo, both uh, both top laners in opposite lanes. Dark Phoenix yeah, both currently have TP available. Yeah, both have TP available. Dark Phoenix just recalled. He's going to go buy, buy some items. Buy a giant yeah. spell. A bit more health. Ninja Tabbies need nerfing, I think. I think Ninja Tabbies are a bit strong at the minute. They are strong. You're not wrong. I mean, you've seen, not in this game in particular, but you, see, you, you do see even AD carries taking Ninja Tabbies. <laughs> Just because they are so good, and I mean, what's yeah, what is it 40% attack speed on Zikrius? Am I really wrong there? Oh, yeah, oh no, we've got a disconnect. And yeah, the there's the pause, and it's Macrocos who has disconnected. And we know he uses plus net, so it's Yorkshire's fault. 
You blame me all. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm with Plusnet and I'm still here. I'm fine. <laughs> Let's just have a quick. Oh, look at that. Zero dropped frames. Oh, you've yeah. basically been you've basically been with Plusnet since they started. Yeah, not far <laughs> off. I mean, <laughs> when when I saw vans outside uh, on the street with like BT stuff, I was like, wait. Fiber? 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 Is my is my little village getting fiber? <laughs> like checking three times a day on, on different websites, yeah. different providers. Uh, it was all down to just when Open Reach put it down, wasn't it? Pretty much, and then, then when yeah. I saw Plusnet, fiber is available in your area. Well, hell, yeah. I bought it straight away. <laughs> yeah. To lean back a second. I'm just gonna apologise for my chair noise. Oh. I'm gonna recline. Just need, to, just need to chill my back a little bit because my back's a bit knackered. Oh. Poorly back. Oh, poorly back. All this manual labour. Yeah. Mm. No one's saying anything in the chat. Nobody's saying a word, which is. What's going on? I wish we could chat back to them, but I mean, it was three minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look on the Discord. Micro's on Discord. I mean, it is three minutes ago, so. Yeah. No, but what I mean, that means if he's on Discord right now, that means. He's back. The game should, it shouldn't should be too long a pause for us. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> well, I mean, whilst we're here, let's have a look at some uh, some gold differences per lane. Ugh. Yes, right. let's, let's come on, Tom. Let's oh, can I just say? Jinx. I mean, do you think the Farsight thing is worth, or I would say get a Sweeper. I'd say because get a Sweeper, you've got, got Sidestone, so yeah. I mean. yeah. Obviously, the, the nice thing about the Farsight is uh, the, the range, but I would get that on Lux. Yeah, I, I I'd get Farsight I on Lux, you. Yellow Top and Jungle, uh, Sweeper on the bottom lane. Yeah. Yeah, that just well good yeah. stuff. I mean, I know they stick together most of the time, but you know, if they could then go around the jungle as two and just clear out all the wards with two sweepers. Yeah, you could literally just start at opposite ends of like one half of the river and just meet in the middle and clear everything. <laughs> meet in the middle, do a high five, <laughs> and carry on, just go past each other. Or maybe just a mutual nod, <laughs> yeah. like exactly. like the Velociraptor oh. to Chris Pratt in Jurassic World. <laughs> Macrocos <laughs> has just reconnected, so hopefully he's reconnected. Hopefully, all we'll as was soon. foretold in the Discord. <laughs> 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 foretold in the Discord. God. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back in. Let's look at some items. Items. Triforce Nasus. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's only got over three, uh, 2,750 health. Oh, 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 yeah, easy. Easy. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, he's got the uh, Cinderhulk. Uh, yeah. Nice little jungle item. Yeah, lots of health. Uh, I'm running out of things to say. He's actually got, he's got the, the warding uh, jungle item as well, so... Mm. You, maybe he should have a sweeper. All I'm saying is, I think teams should have two sweepers. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, all the potato chip have got two. Yeah, you can't really. Oh, unpaused. Oh, I best get back into unreclined position. There we go. We're <laughs> back in. Oh, Craig has been switched oh. to attack mode. <laughs> Just turn me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety degree turn. And there's my directed camera. So. <laughs> All right, pace of the game. I forgot. Three minutes is an awfully long time. It is. Um, so what? What? What's going on? Oh, oh. Didn't like that FPS drops to me is what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Riot. It's not like my computer. Yeah, good to know that we both it. get it. So it's not even our computers. Yeah, well, better not be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not again. Literally <laughs> built this thing a week ago. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Oh, I was just about to say the junglers are on the exact same CS. And then Orn just had to take two. Uh, oh, God. How you do nice. this to me? I need a breather. I know, 30 minute game. 
And this game is a breather, to be honest, oh, right we're, now. We're, like, we're over 20 minutes, and Microcos has definitely lost this game. You know, Microcos, Silver Sparks, they're in top lane, but, you know, they can't push on the turret because they don't have more control of that top side, so they don't know. They don't know where Orn is. And Orn coming up behind you is... Terrifying! Rancid. It's definitely full uh, pants time. They're just awkwardly shuffling around this Baron right now, both teams. Medics has got a catch onto Rakanyu, can't really follow it up, just just do a nice bit of damage. Yeah, just a little bit of, a little bit of a tickle. Ugh. Sorry I'm getting hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. Yeah. But, yeah, look, it's just, yep, yeah, onto the mid lane, they'll, they'll push this in a bit. Can't really siege it up too much though, with the other outers up. Mm. You know, it's really hard to siege a mid turret when both top and bottom have their inner turret still up. Yeah. Because that's a lot of jungle you don't have you know, control of. Ran picking up a Zonya's hourglass. Where's, yeah, where's your Rylize? I like Rylize on brand. I play, I've yeah. been playing a lot of brand support. Is there any way to see the keystones? Not in spectator, sadly. Um, if you <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to. Can like go on OPGG. I think you can still find custom games on there if you put in one of the. Uh... Uh, yes, I believe you can. I think that still works. Not entirely sure. <laughs> or oh, if you've got me or Craig added on League, you can right-click Spectate Us, and it, the loading screen shows you the keystones. <laughs> it's just after the loading screen yeah. they're gone. It's a pain. That. <laughs> yeah. Right, I mean, because obviously in the LCS they they show them. Well, other than uh, Nasus has Klepto because so he was getting, it. yeah, because they were getting the little the little bags of gold. Yeah. Um, off the top of my head, you had Airy on Lulu, the attack speed on, on Jinx. I still can't remember. Oh, but Lux has got the one that you would expect. Comet. You know that fires the comet. Yeah. So is Brand. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was taking five minutes. So we've got no chance. <laughs> Both top <laughs> laners have got Klepto. Um, Rakan has Guardian. Uh, Zaya is Freshly using... nerfed Guardian. Yeah. Fleet Footwork. And I believe it's um, Aftershock. On says Ronnie. And Orn, I believe. He's also running Aftershock. Is that, that's another Martin Drake. Another Martin uh, Drake. If... Hollow Potato Chip can pick this up, that is 30% bonus damage to objectives like Turrets and Baron, and that is horrible. Sorry if you heard a massive knock, my cat just jumped on my lap and smashed his head on the desk like an absolute idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I he just, he just jumped up yet. and cracked his head. Dude, you cat. Alright, so yeah, we got, you know, goodbye Baron Dance, say hello to Dragon Dance. Yeah, let's get Dragon. I mean... Ooh, micro! I... Yeah, get those berries, boy! <laughs> if I was Avataria, oh, I'd let them get it and go get Baron. Yeah. Didn't do that. Oh, nice. All right to here. Get smashed. It. Can they catch the Illyria out? Can he burst it down? Silver Sparks, he's on the back line. Not really able to do much. 13 now. He went a little too deep. He's going to get taken down. But uh, Avataria, they, you know, they still got the advantage here. So they're going to chase away Hollow Potato Chip. Oh, he's thinking popped. The Zonyas, but he's going to drop as soon as that's gone, and that is four for one. Now, look at all these turrets on the map. They ha are they going to go for the Baron, or are they going to take the mid turret? Uh, what do you reckon? They've got uh, decent amounts of health. Jinx is okay at taking down Baron? Yeah, especially with the attack speed that she's running at the moment. I'd say... Yeah, I'd, I'd say, say Baron, Baron, but if you're doing it, do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do Where's it. Lux going? Oh, looks no. Looks you don't need blue, mate. This is risky. Mm. She's 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 coming. She's coming. She's, she's coming, but we can. Ilawi, Ilawi's got TP. Can TP to the other side of the Baron. Pit. There is an award in the Baron pit. No one has swept that. Lulu's got a sweeper. She's got a control one in her back pocket. Should have placed those, but they do, regardless, manage to pick up the Baron. But that was risky. That was a lot riskier than it needed to yeah, be. Yeah, that was that was bullshit about the territory right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, anxiety attack. <laughs> this, oh, this game is so close. Thirty-three minutes in. Thirty-three minutes in. It's only three yeah. K so in. Yeah. So we've it? got. Yeah, we've got the Baron. We, they need to pick turrets off this Baron. They cannot let it go to waste. No. They need it. You know, Hollow Potato Chip have only lost a single turret. 
That's a, I mean, you look at it that way, but you can also look at it the fact that Avatari's got a lot of gold to, <laughs> to clean up here. They yeah, can... they've got a lot, that they can, a lot of gold that they can claim, but, you know... And they're already in the lead. Gotta claim it, though. Yeah. Come on, group is far. And well, it's not just about far. gold, you know. With all those turrets still up, that's just so much map control that good. they haven't got. 13 just recalled. With that, with that tasty wave in top lane. Got TP. Is he going to TP? Good eyes going not, we've not seen way. any aggressive TPs this game. No, no. I haven't seen T TPs in one of the early ones. None that I can it's think of. Hard to practice, but hopefully if we get, I guess, a little more into the MLS and every team is, you know, more getting a little more cohesive and playing as a unit, we'll see TP being used a bit more. Yeah, hopefully. I like, I, I, guess, like, I, like the, I like the spicy TP plays. It's often just used as a reactionary thing. Yeah. Um, it's always nice to just kind of drop a, drop a deep ward in lane, in bot lane, and just let your top laner just TP as your jungler ganks and just four man that bot lane. Yeah. Stinky four man bot Silver lane. Silver Sparks. Looks like he's coming in, yeah. in the back line. There he goes. Yep, he's coming in. Look. What is going on? It's, you know, on ultimate drop. Look, she's already down off their main damage deal. It's still got Jinx, but getting pretty low. You know, it's, it's right at the back. It's probably going to pick off Illawi, but not going to obtain much more than this. Nazis was on the back line, though, and he's got pretty beefy now. Good God. And Pops is on you, but the turret's gone. He is dropped. That is an ace, and I nearly missed it. <laughs> that was really a team fight. Legarius that, Rare was just sat at the back with Jinx, just rocket, 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 rocket. It was, I mean, right, here's, here's the difference in the fight. It was basically two 4v1s with the top lane upon each team yeah. trying to kill the back line. And Nazus got, he lasted longer. This is GG. Which, yeah, got them the advantage. And Hollywood Potato Chip, this, this is game for them. They, Look at that, Jinx attacks me! And that is unbelievable. But yeah, Hollywood Potato Chip, they've come into the league, fresh team, newly assembled, come in, brought a lot of early game aggression, but lost that Baron and it's cost them the game. Yeah, they've got to got to look back at this and think, where did we go wrong? Let's Still a it. very strong performance though. Yeah, it was. They had a really strong early game. And it just kind of fell off a little bit towards the mid late mid game and then towards the end game. Well the late game. It just fell off completely, really. Let's have a quick look at the statistics. Brand doing a whole bunch of damage, which is expected. <laughs> uh, yeah, lots of damage. Let's have a look down. Vision score, this is where I like to look. <laughs> Lulu topping out the charts with a vision score of 65. Jinx place more wards. Yeah. That sidestone came in handy. <laughs> it's a shame because I mean, looking at the vision score, you've got you've got two players on um, Avataria that bought control wards. Yeah. And then you've got every single player girl, uh, buying them for uh, Hollywood potato chip. Yeah, it's a shame. But uh, that was game one, guys. Um, we will be back shortly. For uh, my mum dropped me versus <laughs> Avataria, who have just won the first game of the se third season of the MLS, and uh, I'm gonna have to stick some music on now. Yeah, in a bit. Is the stream off?